Bud Light experienced another week of sales decline, dropping 24% from a year ago. Uh, this is a Fox Business story. Bud Light experienced another week of decline last week of May with a 23.9% decrease in sales on a dollar basis compared to the same period last year. And sales have fallen another 24.5% the past four weeks, according to Nielsen IQ data, the sales decline can be attributed to the backlash faced by Bud Light and parent company Anheuser-Busch since creating custom cans for its transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney in early April. However, the week ending May 27 marked a smaller decrease compared to the pr previous week. Factors contributing to the smaller decline include effective communication by Anheuser-Busch distributors, continued merchandise placement by retailers, and strong Memorial Day sales driven by discounts and rebates and challenge in comparisons to 2022 sales. Tom. This is really funny. I don't need to talk about this anymore. I mean, this is this is um, Budweiser walking with a permanent limp the way they've shot themselves in the foot. Well, but what is happening on the back end? For beer drinkers at One Good Beer, Pat, check this out. Well, once a year, you have the Great American Beer Festival, and that's in Denver, Colorado. It's known as the Oscars of Brewing, um, and it's uh, run by, you know, independent minds, and Sam Adams has always been a great uh, supporter of it. As a matter of fact, back in 2009, I finished third place, American Pale Ale Competition. Shout out to you, You're Tom. joking. Yep. The BizDoc. I'm not joking. BizDoc is a craft brewer on the side when he has space and time, which is hard with the BizDoc babe and two girls in school. But what is happening right now is the craft brewers used to make rich, tasty beers. You go into a bar or something like yeah. any, and it's, oh, uh, you know, the, the Oregon honey beer. It's got a rich, different taste. What they've been making over the course of the last two years is more um, um, fast drinkable and mass drinkable. They've been aiming at Budweiser, ironically. And there are these five breweries that have come out of nowhere and they're being covered on social media by their followers. There's things going on. So what is happening is the American entrepreneur and craft brewers are fighting back and you've got people like the Odell Brewing Company in Colorado, Creature Comforts in Athens, Georgia, Exhibit A Brewing Company, which I think is hysterical, in Framingham, Massachusetts, Dovetail Brewery. They are all brewing better than Budweiser's. It's mainstream American Pilsners aim to be better than Budweiser's and they're taking off because they've gotten lift over the past month yeah. because people are saying, why drink Budweiser? Why don't you drink uh, the Dovetail Brewery Budweiser copy? But it's actually better than Budweiser. And so American beer drinkers are supporting small entrepreneurs, craft brewers that are brewing stuff up. So it's not just the boycott. The consumer, the beer drinker, didn't stop being a beer drinker for the summer. They're looking for alternatives and they're finding it, and they're finding it coming from American entrepreneurs coming out of the Great American Beer Festival. And I think this is a fantastic unintended consequence coming at Budweiser. And Tom, who, who, who just ranked up to number one as the most popular beer in the United States? In terms of mass produced, mass produced, mass produced factory beers, Modelo. Modelo, let's go, baby. Oh, that is the they most number disgusting one. beer in it's the world. So when Modelo is number one, there's problems. We're you guys well, like Modelo? I, no, I, I only can drink it with like like a michelada or something. I only like drink that. it when I'm pissed Corona. off. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> but uh, Pat, do you guys see what Dylan Mulvaney said about this whole thing? He said uh, more companies should work with more diverse groups of trans people after this whole debacle with Bud Light. And he said, and I quote. For a long time, I felt so lucky that these opportunities were coming my way that I thought it was by accident. But now I realize how much power I actually have. He goes, if a brand wants to work with me so bad, then they should work with other trans people too. It's not enough just to hire me, this white, skinny trans girl. I want all the dolls to be getting brand new, like all these brand deals. Go ahead. So if you're, if you're listening and you're a company, start hiring a bunch, of these, a bunch of these guys and see what happens to your company. It better not be a masculine freaking... But like numbers, of, numbers yeah. don't lie. Don't favor. They them. don't lie. You know, numbers don't favor them. No, it doesn't. And it's in beer. It's not just a boycott. We are now shifting away from giant woke factory beer companies yeah. and independent entrepreneurs and little islands in this company a country are winning. And I think it's fantastic. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.